Hey, so um, we have Tamika here. You've been on Tamika for some time, so why don't you yes. let everybody know who this woman is? Yes, I have my big sister here, Tamika Hill. Um, she is phenomenal, and we had a conversation yesterday because she's a licensed clinical social worker. But what she's done is created multiple businesses with that skill set because she's found a way to transfer it into other types of businesses. So she's a speaker. She does workshops and training. She's, she's certified as a woman minority owned business and now is able to go into the school systems, um, our, our public safety systems, all different type of industries and entities to teach people um, how to be better at what they're doing by starting with themselves. So she's phenomenal. I'm excited that she's here. She has a really cool event that's coming up um, and it's relationship based. Again, she's a therapist so she's talking about all different types of things. We're talking about finance, we're talking about you know mental um, wellness, we're talking about relationship wellness. This particular event that she's having in April is focused on relationships and just the struggles that we as single women being one myself, you know, getting the perspective of a man, a male, all different varieties and flavors of men too. Yes. Um, with questions that we have, we commonly have. So 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 Tamika. let's talk about that to make a height door. I know. So Tamika, so let's let's do a let's do a version of that right here. Yes. Oh that's good. And, yeah. and let, let's see what that what that looks like. So how would that so your event is on what day? April second. April second. And what does it cost to get in? It is 109 currently today. If they 109? Take, 109. How many seats available? It's 30 seats available. 30 seats. And it's going to be where? Cooper's Hawk in Oak Lawn. In Oak Lawn, all right. So it's only, it's only you all, 30 seats. And, and there's a room you're going to be in, like a room, and then there, there's going to be the, the panelists are going to be men. Yes. How many men? Six men. All right. So you got 30 women. Are they, yes. are they single women or are they married women? I'm single, single and married. Can come. Sing, single and married can come. All right, and they're going to, um, they're going to answer their questions. Yes, we're going to have an open panel discussion. Open, okay, and you do know there's good food and Cooper's Hawk and a whole lot of wine. Yes, so, and that's included. And that's included, so you can get real loose, <laughs> and so you can open up. And some of you may go back to your your men and your husband, and be able to share some light on the situation. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Because the brothers are going to try to share some light. And I yes. think we're missing right there. We're missing. We are missing because we, we're not communicating effectively. Yes. You know? And so we, we are, we're functioning on um, presumptions. Yes. And other things. So let's do a version of that right here. So mm -hmm. um, T.Y. to the extent that he can be transparent because we don't want to you know, we, we don't we don't we don't want to get the few marriages that we know are working not to work anymore because we have said some things on the radio. Mm -hmm. So the brother can talk if he wants to. He can talk, the man ain't scared to talk. <laughs> but you know, there's a time for everything. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Hey listen, my dad used to say this all the time. He said, Son, just because it's right does not make it expedient. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can be right just because it comes up it ain't got to come out right but let's see what we can do here okay. so now so in the in the world of black love mm -hmm. you're having this event yes because we ain't connected well yes I agree. You know, why do you think we're not connected um i think men um don't feel safe to communicate one being honest um, I have counseled many of men, and the one thing they all say is once they open up and you shut them down, that's it. And that's a continued trade throughout their life. Because if you don't create a safe space, why am I going to talk to you? And then you have women getting advice from women. They never, they talk to their friends and like, oh, well, he did this. What do you think that means? And what do you think that means? How's she going to ask <laughs> what a man think? She can't. So I really came up with this concept, how about we talk to the men about the men, and um, the women listen. So can I speak for myself in some cases, and mm -hmm. then um, men that I know who have made these comments, we have talked about this. Um, not all of these things are my personal mm -hmm. uh, feelings, but some of them are. Mm -hmm. 
One of the things, and ladies, you can call in 773 928 9230. 773 928 9230. One more time 773 928 9230. So, one of the things is men, many men, do not feel needed. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and if I could say, me personally, if I can say, I don't have that feeling, mm -hmm. but I have the feeling I'm getting ready to tell you. Mm -hmm. If I can say one thing to women to get you to think about this, it would be this. Men, and I'm going to say more specifically, black men. Mm -hmm are raised by black women and greatly nurtured. Mm -hmm. Gotta remember that movie Baby Boy, some part of every black boy got that sensibility in him. Mm -hmm. Not maybe not fully, but black women are the most nurturing women on the planet. Mm -hmm. They nurtured white men. Mm -hmm. Breastfed white men. We are we, 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 we are great as men because of the nurture of a woman. Sometimes it went overboard. Mm -hmm. And now the same women that want husbands and boyfriends and relationships got grown men, black men, who go through the American black experience mm -hmm. and when they can least afford not to be nurtured, you refuse to nurture them. You can't see, you, many of you can't see your way to, to get a meal fixed for a grown-ass man and put on the table that he can eat is worth a orgy with the finest women ever. Without resentment, though. Because you wanted to do it. Because you love it on him. Because you care about him. He don't be cheating because he, he like the sex. He cheating because he like the nurture. He won't be nurtured. My God. And so, you have situations with women now that in their attitude and in their conversation, many women are telling you without telling you straight out, I don't want to be bothered with you on a committed level because I got what I really need. I built what I really need. I'm working on what I really need. And any form of that conversation is actually telling you I don't need you. And the, the thing above all things that a black man don't want to hear from, from, the, from a woman who is the same species of the woman that nurtured him, right? He don't want to hear that. Because does a little boy want to hear from his mama at any point, I don't need you. I, they don't want to hear that in no way. So here's why it makes most sense to be a passport bro and hang out with women that barely can speak the language you speak. Mm -hmm. Because nurture ain't got no language. But well, somebody better come talk to me. Amen. <laughs> hey. Do you hear what I'm saying? Nurture got one language. Mm -hmm. And that's what black men want. Mm -hmm. They want their head rubbed for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You're looking at all these sophisticated ways of how can, how can, like, no, nah, it ain't that sophisticated. He was a little boy nurtured by a black woman. The greatest nurture ever. Mm -hmm. And if you really want some instruction, women who have boys, think about how you feel when a little girl or a grown woman goes after your son and then even insinuates in the least bit that I don't care what your mama told you, how you feel then. Come on, come on with it. Anyway, I want to take your questions, your comments. We're going to talk about that, men and women. What do you think we ought to make the, the conversation? Um, How do we communicate? Yeah, I think we How do we get along? Yeah. Did you like what I said or you didn't like what I said? Mm -hmm. Am I right or am I wrong? Am I off? And what's your thoughts? Call us 773-928-9230. 773-928-9230.